Alright. You guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a hood, right? Well, the reason why I'm wearing a hood is because my hair is not combed and I don't feel like combing it right now. And I'm not getting dressed up for a video. Um, I came here to be very quick with you guys and address something. It's a, if you guys, you guys probably have already seen it. It's a video on Facebook of a female who cheated gets her hair cut. And I found a lot of things wrong about the video. And what I found wrong about the video is, yes, it is very wrong to cheat. But you could have just left the woman and, I mean, you, you could have told her, I know you're cheating on me. I don't want to be with you no more. You little nasty slut. And then pack your bags and leave. Get out of my house. But no. It didn't work like that. It's, it looks like she was either sitting in the floor. I mean, I don't know if she was in the floor or in a bathtub. But either way, she was sitting down somewhere. It was like 15, 20 guys in one room. And some guys are cutting their hair with the clippers. And then she, was, she kept holding her ponytail like this. And the guy took a butcher knife. A butcher knife, really? What if you would have cut the woman? And they just start slicing the woman's ponytail off, and then they start cutting it off. They cut her bald, and then they um, poured some on her head. I didn't see what exactly put on her head, but they poured something on the woman's head. And I'm like, this is cruel. And then they kicked her, and they pushed her, and they it was cheering like it was like a, like they won a lottery. Like they they was cheering like they didn't won the lottery or won. So, or won the Super Bowl or something for the team or something. It's like it's full of a room full of men versus one female. And it was forcefully cutting her hair. Now I find that very wrong that she cheated, but but I find it really wrong first to have a bunch of men in a room with one female. Not not only that, but the, she he, she even got humped in the face. Humped on the guy humped her on the face for. Even cheating. Now, in a way, he has a point, but in a way, he doesn't because one, you cut the woman's hair off. Two, you kicking her, then pushing her, and then you hump her face. Now, that is totally wrong and to do from the get go. Now, I don't condone violence, and that's one of the things that I find is very cruel. It's like watching a bunch of people at a slaughterhouse cutting up chickens and pigs and ducks and cows, and the list goes on. That's like that but the human version but the thing is there might be some men out there who actually will be on the woman's side yeah she might have cheated but you could you should have left her and he kept going then you got women men and women who are like that's what she gets da 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 how she gets it she's a hoe ha 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 now people got their own ways of dealing with things but um in my opinion, you should have just told her she's a nasty, dirty whore. You've cheated on me. You got my life. Get your crap and get out. Instead of cutting the woman's hair off. Now, not only are you embarrassing the woman, but you messing with the woman. you messing with her um, self-esteem. Now she got to go in public with whatever the heck you poured, poured on her head and you chopped her head off. I mean... I mean, not chop her head off. My bad. I'm talking too fast. You chopped her hair off. But, um, there's people laughing at the woman for cheating and getting hair chopped off. And then there's people who taking her side, but there's more people making fun of the woman. I'm like, but in a way, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm not saying that's, that's what that was right for them to do. But I'm saying, but I'm saying this. If a woman can go and like if a guy cheats on a woman and the if a, yeah if a guy cheats on a woman woman can chop the guy's dick off and freaking go tell the friend they laugh about it. ha 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 that no good having mf deserve that ha 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 everybody's cool with it but the moment a guy go chops a girl hair off go chop their tits off. Chop the head off, or whatever they do in other countries, or whatever. Then it's gonna be an issue. If a guy go and do the same thing, 
a woman do? Chop the tits off, chop the vagina off, go tell their homeboys about it, laugh about it, ha 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 ha. Then we are gonna be the ones in trouble. So, so I'm guessing a girl can chop a guy's dick off, and nobody cares about it. It's not a problem. But we go chop a female's body parts off. It's an issue. I'm just saying. So at the end of the day, what they did to that woman was not right. And what that woman did was not right. You should not cheat on anybody, male or female. You should not cheat. That is so wrong to do, is cheat on somebody. Because you're going to be in hot water. So, my advice to you guys is, do not cheat. Do not have any side chicks. Don't even mess around. Because if you do that, you're going to get caught in hot water, and you might get, what is what this woman got? You might get shot, stabbed, um, sliced up, whatever it is, murdered. Some people take cheating very seriously. I mean, if a woman or a man cheats, just leave them. Why even chop their dick off? Why chop their vagina off? Why ch chop their tits off? That's totally wrong. That's like watching a freaking Slaughterhouse video. So, do not do any of those, guys. And I'm out. Sus subscribe. And sorry if I offended you guys by saying vagina, boobs, or dick. But yeah, I'm just voicing my opinion, and this is how I feel. And I'm out.